In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a fire simulation in Blender in just three minutes. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing Ctrl-5 to get a sphere as the example object. And then go to Quick Effects and then Quick Smoke under Objects. And then we can scale up the domain, which is the border of the simulation. So press S to scale. And then press G, then Set to grab it on the set axis. And then we can select the inflow object and go into the physics settings. And then we're going to switch to fire plus smoke so that we get fire as well. And then in the domain object, I'm going to increase the resolution. If you have a strong computer, you can set it to 250. If you have a slow computer, you should probably set it to around 150. And then we need to enable noise to make the uh, simulation a bit more interesting. And then switch to all for the type so that we can bake it. And then is resumable so that you can pause the baking if you want to. And then click bake all to start the uh, baking. And after a couple of hours, I have this simulation. So uh, just going to save the Blender file and then select the light source and turn it into a sun with a strength of a three. And when you switch to rendered view, you can see that we have some very basic smoke. We can go back to solid view and then switch to cycles to get some better smoke. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. As you can see, the smoke looks a lot better in cycles, but it's going to be a bit slower as well, of course. And then to add the flame, we first need to open a new window. So drag the top right corner of our first window and then go into the shader editor. And here we can add some additional nodes for the domain so that we get the flame. The first node that we're going to add is an add shader node. So just shift A and add shader. And then with shift A, and then we're going to add an attribute node, which we need for the flame. So it's very important that you change the name to flame. And then press Shift A. And then we're going to add an emission node. And then we're going to connect the emission node to the add shader. And then the factor to the strength. And this is how we get the flame. So let's just uh, add some orange to the flame. As you can see, a very simple setup. And then you can also add a math node to make the uh, flame a bit stronger. So uh, multiply and then increase the value. And then you can play around with the color of the flame. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is to set up the camera and you're pretty much done. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.